In mathematics, a finitary relation has a finite number of places. In set theory and logic, a relation is a property that assigns truth values to tuples of individuals. Typically, the property describes a possible connection between the components of a tuple. For a given set of tuples, a truth value is assigned to each tuple according to whether the property does or does not hold. An example of a ternary relation is was introduced to by, whereas a three-tuple of persons, for example, Beatrice Wood was introduced to Henry Pierre Rocher by Marcel Duchamp, is true, while Karl Marx was introduced to Friedrich Engels by Queen Victoria, is false. Informal introduction. Relation is formally defined in the next section. In this section we introduce the concept of a relation with a familiar everyday example. Consider the relation involving three roles that people might play, expressed in a statement of the form, X thinks that Y likes Z. The facts of a concrete situation could be organized in a table like the following. Each row of the table records a fact or makes an assertion of the form X thinks that Y likes Z. For instance, the first row says, in effect, Alice thinks that Bob likes Denise. The table represents a relation S over the set P of people under discussion. P equals Alice, Bob, Charles, Denise. The data of the table are equivalent to the following set of ordered triples. S equals by a slight abuse of notation, it is usual to write S to say the same thing as the first row of the table. The relation S is a ternary relation, since there are three items involved in each row. The relation itself is a mathematical object defined in terms of concepts from set theory, that carries all of the information from the table in one neat package. Mathematically, then, a relation is simply an ordered set. The table for relation S is an extremely simple example of a relational database. The theoretical aspects of databases are the specialty of one branch of computer science. While their practical impacts have become all too familiar in our everyday lives, computer scientists, logicians, and mathematicians, however, tend to see different things when they look at these concrete examples and samples of the more general concept of a relation. For one thing, databases are designed to deal with empirical data, and experience is always finite, whereas mathematics at the very least concerns itself with potential infinity. This difference in perspective brings up a number of ideas that may be usefully introduced at this point, if by no means covered in depth. Relations with a small number of places. The variable giving the number of places in the relation 3 for the above example is a non-negative integer called the relations arity, adicity, or dimension. A relation with places is variously called a ary, a adec, or a dimensional relation. Relations with a finite number of places are called finite place or finitary relations. It is possible to generalize the concept to include infinitary relations between infinitudes of individuals, for example infinite sequences. However, in this article only finitary relations are discussed which will from now on simply be called relations. Since there is only one zero tuple, the so-called empty tuple, there are only two zero place relations, the one that always holds, and the one that never holds. They are sometimes useful for constructing the base case of an induction argument. One-place relations are called unary relations. For instance, any set can be viewed as a collection of individuals having some property. Two-place relations are called binary relations or, in the past, dyadic relations. Binary relations are very common, given the ubiquity of relations such as equality and inequality, denoted by signs such as, and, in statements like, being a divisor of, denoted by the sign, in statements like, set membership, denoted by the sign, in statements like, a ARY relation is a straightforward generalization of a binary relation. Formal definitions. Augustus de Morgan the simpler of the two definitions of k-place relations encountered in mathematics is, 
Definition 1. A relation L over the sets x1, xk is a subset of the Cartesian product, written Lx1 times, times xk. Relations are classified according to the number of sets in the defining Cartesian product, in other words, according to the number of terms following L. Hence, LU denotes a unary relation or property. Love or ULV denote a binary relation. LUVW denotes a ternary relation. Love WX denotes a quaternary relation. Relations with more than four terms are usually referred to as KARY or NARY. For example, a 5ARY relation. A KARY relation is simply a set of K tuples. The second definition makes use of an idiom that is common in mathematics, stipulating that such and such is an n-tuple, in order to ensure that such and such a mathematical object is determined by the specification of n component mathematical objects. In the case of a relation L over k sets, there are k plus 1 things to specify, namely, the k sets plus a subset of the Cartesian product. In the idiom, this is expressed by saying that L is a tuple. Definition 2. A relation L over the sets x1, xk is a tuple L equals, where G is a subset of the Cartesian product x1 times, times xk. G is called the graph of L. Elements of a relation are more briefly denoted by using boldface characters, for example, the constant element R equals or the variable element x equals. A statement of the form A is in the relation L, or A satisfies L, is taken to mean that A is in L under the first definition and that A is in G under the second definition. The following considerations apply under either definition. The sets x j for j equals 1 to k are called the domains of the relation. Under the first definition, the relation does not uniquely determine a given sequence of domains. If all of the domains x, j are the same set x, then it is simpler to refer to L as a k-a-r-y relation over x. If any of the domains x, j is empty, then the defining Cartesian product is empty, and the only relation over such a sequence of domains is the empty relation L equals. Hence it is commonly stipulated that all of the domains be non-empty. As a rule, whatever definition best fits the application at hand will be chosen for that purpose, and anything that falls under it will be called a relation for the duration of that discussion. If it becomes necessary to distinguish the two definitions, an entity satisfying the second definition may be called an embedded or included relation. If L is a relation over the domains x1, xk, it is conventional to consider a sequence of terms called variables x1, xk, that are said to range over the respective domains. Let a Boolean domain B be a two-element set, say, B equals 0, 1, whose elements can be interpreted as logical values, typically 0 equals false and 1 equals true. The characteristic function of the relation L, written FL or chi, is the Boolean-valued function FL, x1 times, times xkb, defined in such a way that FL, Charles Sanders Pierce restated and extended De Morgan's results. Bertrand Russell was historically important in that it brought together in one place many 19th-century results on relations, especially orders by Pierce, Gottlob Frege, Georg Cantor, Richard Dedekind, and others. Russell and A. N. Whitehead made free use of these results in the Principia Mathematica. Bibliography. All Barkey. Elements of the History of Mathematics. John Meldrum. Trans. Springer Verlag. Carnip. Rudolf Introduction to Symbolic Logic with Applications. Dover Publications, Hal Moss, P.R., Naive Set Theory, Princeton N.J., D. Van Nostrand Company, Lavera, F.W., and R., Roseborough Sets for Mathematics, Cambridge Univ. Press, Lucas, R., Conceptual Roots of Mathematics, Rutledge, Maddox, R.D., Relation Algebras, Volume, 150 in, Studies in Logic and the Foundations of Mathematics, Elsevier Science, 
Merrill, Dundee, Augustus de Morgan and the Logic of Relations, Kluwer, Pierce, C.S., Writings of Charles S. Pierce, A Chronological Edition, Volume 2, 1867-1871, Pierce Edition Project, Eds, Indiana University Press, Russell, Bertrand The Principles of Mathematics, Second Ed, Cambridge Univ, Press, Suppus, Patrick Axiomatic Set Theory, Dover Publications, Tashi, Logic, Semantics, Metamathematics, Papers from 1923 to 1938, J.H. Woodger, Trans. First edition, Oxford University Press. Second edition, Corcoran, ed. Indianapolis, Indiana. Hackett Publishing, Ulam, S.M. Analogies Between Analogies. The Mathematical Reports of S.M. Ulam and his Los Alamos collaborators in A.R. Bednarek and Francois Ulam, eds. University of California Press. R. Fraser, Theory of Relations.